Russian Olympic figure skating champions have continued their careers outside of sports in different ways. Have they realized themselves? There are five Olympic singles champions in Russia, of which three have already completed their careers. All of them had different fates after sports. Yulia Lipnitskaya did not become a public person and went into family affairs, Adelina Sotnikova created her own school, and Alina Zajitova, no one would have thought, she started her career as a TV presenter. How did the skaters have such different life trajectories, and what will happen to the two champions of Beijing, Kamila Voliva and Anna Shcherbakova? Having won the Sochi Olympics in the team tournament, 15-year-old Lipnitskaya instantly became a national symbol. This became clear even before the start of the personal tournament, in which Yulia could not cope with the burden of responsibility and finished fifth. The coach of the figure skater Terry Tutbirds explained the result of the ward with the attention of journalists. However, later Tutbirds and Lipnitskaya clashed in the conflict themselves. The figure skater left the group. In the figure skating party, they say that Lipnitskaya allegedly boldly responded to Tutbirds' emotional words, and another figure skater in the group, Vladislav Tarasenko, stood up for her. Who was the first, and who is to blame, now no one knows, and it does not matter. Lipnitskaya left for Sochi, in a group with Alexei Ermanov, but soon her career was over. One of the reasons was called anorexia. Lipnitskaya, according to statistics, is the fifth person in the world of figure skating in terms of the number of requests to Wikipedia since 2015, 2020 data, for sure since then Camila Voliva has at least entered the top five, but despite this, she did not capitalize her name. Surely her revelations about her work at the Crystal, memoirs about Sachi, would have caused the effect of an exploding bomb, but Julia chose non-publicity. Familiar figure skaters explain this by character traits. You really won't find almost any interviews with her, and I remember how it was always difficult for journalists to start a conversation with Yulia at press approaches. Although initially Lipnitskaya wanted to follow the coaching and managerial path, not everything turned out smoothly there. The joint academy with Elena Ilyanik ended its existence, and Lipnitskaya began coaching at the Plashenko Angels. She instructs young children on the right path, but even in this field, for example, Lipnitskaya had no breakthrough. Rather, it is a work for the soul. In June 2020, Lipnitskaya gave birth to a daughter. From the very Vladislav Tarasenko, who rode with her at Tutbirds. Lipnitskaya's life was so shrouded in mystery that after the news was published, many fans did not even guess who the child was from. Now Lipnitskaya is raising her daughter and rarely appears in public. Adeline chose a different path. Sotnikova did not announce her retirement for a long time, although she stopped skating, like Lipnitskaya, almost immediately after the victorious Olympics. But Sotnikova actively led social networks, starred in spectacular photo shoots, and went to glamorous parties, regularly participated in ice shows, also under the auspices of Evgeny Plushenko. But that was only one side of the coin. In fact, Sotnikova has survived more than one operation. She had two hernias removed, then the discs between the vertebrae were replaced with implants and fastened with a titanium plate. Nevertheless, Adeline announced her retirement only in March 2020, five years after the final official start. And a few months later she founded her own school Sotka School. The opening ceremony was attended by the director general of the Russian Figure Skating Federation Alexander Kogan, who presented the first ever badge of honor for achievements in figure skating. But, again, so far Sotnikova's school has not won big victories and is rather concentrating on working with the youngest skaters. The champion of Pyeongchang, perhaps, is building the most notable career of all our Aprox. After the Olympics, she also won the World Championship, then suspended her career and was in limbo for a long time, keeping an intrigue about her future. Everything became clear in the fall of 2020, when, instead of control rentals in the Cup of Russia, Zajitova warned the Federation about participating in the Ice Age show as a presenter. The profession of a TV journalist on Channel One has become the main vector of development for Alina. Fierce disputes continued around this role. Someone called Zajitova unworthy of the role of a presenter, interviewer and TV expert because of mistakes and unprofessional diction, 
Badilia Averbeck and fans of the figure skater defended their favorite. Obviously, she has progressed in a year and a half of work, but at the same time she has not become a star who owns the minds of millions. She had a lot of contracts with sponsors and influence in Japan, but Zajitova participates in fewer shows than, for example, Evgenia Medvedeva. She has very popular social networks, but Alina rarely climbs into other glades, except for sports, and is limited to entertainment content. The foundation of the Zajitovo media empire, which she could well claim with such an army of fans, did not happen. Moreover, there were a lot of questions about the management of her social networks. Sometimes there was just a lack of an SMM manager who would stop spelling mistakes. And the global future of Zajitova she herself admits that she will become a coach. All three of the aforementioned figure skaters did not last after their victories in two years in the profession. In the case of Voliva and Shcherbakova, this may happen again. Camila has already become a world star, she has a lot of advertising contracts, and after the campaign Camila, we are with you, she can be a face at any major sports, and not only, state event. But a lot depends on the outcome of the case, which is being considered by Rosada and Kaz. Anyway, Voliva, who lost her personal gold at the Beijing Olympics, is the most obvious candidate to finally complete two Olympic cycles. As for Shcherbakova, she is probably the most intelligent figure skater in Russia and is able to prove herself in a variety of fields of activity. But so far, there are continuous intrigues around her future. She herself admitted that she would end her career if the suspension of Russian athletes from international competitions continued. Now most of the Olympic heroes are quarantined before a meeting with the country's leadership and Shcherbakova participates in the show, as if nothing had happened. This is an interesting step, the meaning of which we have yet to learn.